infrastructure. We'll be able to compute at a scale a thousand times greater than our current targets. It has 400,000 cores in, in a single chip. The Cerebrus AI chip is a state-of-the-art semiconductor technology which has been designed to improve the performance of AI algorithms. The AI chip is designed to process large amounts of data at very high speeds, which is essential for the functioning of AI algorithms. The AI chip is a semiconductor technology that is expected to change the world of artificial intelligence. So in this video, we will discuss the Cerebrus chip. Watch the video until the end as we will discuss really interesting facts about it. The rise of AI and shortage of processing power led to the birth of a monstrous CPU with 850,000 cores and 40 gigabytes on chip memory. It is not clear whether or not Moore's Law will hold up, but it is obvious that AI is growing much faster than Moore's Law. A recent report by OpenAI showed that between 2012 and 2018, AI computing is growing 25,000 times faster than Moore's Law at its peak. The complexity of AI training has been an issue for many years. It was possible to train large neural networks using the conventional approach of increasing the number of cores on a single chip. The increasing computational requirements of AI were instead met by increasing the number of cores on a single computer. This approach works well until the number of cores on a chip exceeded the number of cores in a specific group of neural network chips. At the 2015 Conference of Neural Information Processing Systems, or NIPS, researchers proposed a number of solutions to the problem of training. The first was to train multiple smaller neural networks called deep supervision. The second was to train more extensive neural networks on numerous and independent chips. The final proposal was to use AI servers to train the same large neural network. Training models that take longer to train run the risk of overfitting the data, making it difficult to generalize. One way to reduce the time it takes for inputs to travel through the calculation and communication components is to reduce the size of complexity of the neural network. This approach, however, has its limits. Reducing the size of a neural network generally reduces the accuracy and of predictions it makes. Off-chip communication is thousands of times slower than on-chip communication. However, which means that reducing the time it takes for data to travel through the system is only effective. Traditional approaches to reducing communication time have been to send data through faster channels or to increase the bandwidth of existing channels. Today, this has become one of the major tight spots in the AI field. The Cerebrus system of artificial intelligence uses a system of interconnected computers called a neural network to learn. This neural network is similar to the human brain in that it has many interlinked nodes that work together to process and store information. However, unlike the human brain, artificial neural networks are designed to accept input data and process it rather than generate new output. The Cerebrus system is a series of interconnected artificial neural networks designed to learn. The most common way to build chips is to print many copies of the same chip onto a single wafer. The wafer is then cut into individual chips which are packaged and sold as separate processors. The solution that Cerebrus came up with was different. Rather than printing many copies of the same chip onto a single wafer, they cut the largest possible piece of silicon and put it on a processing machine. The goal of the Cerebrus chip is to be used in the field of artificial intelligence. The Cerebrus chip is also used in the field of machine learning, deep learning, and generative intelligence. The Cerebrus Wafer Scale Engine, WSE, holds the world record for the largest neural network chip dedicated to AI ever built in human history. In 2019, Cerebrus System unveiled its first generation chip. The Cerebrus WSE is 46,225 square millimeters and contains over 1.2 trillion transistors. The chip has 400,000 AI-optimized cores called Sparse Linear Algebra Cores, or SLAC. The cores are designed to perform large-scale linear algebra operations in a very efficient way using sparse matrices. The cores are connected together by 100 petabits per second connections. The data is fed to the cores using a 18 gigabyte on-chip memory with 9 petabytes per second. Last year, in April 2021, Cerebus launched their second-generation chip, Wafer Scale Engine 2, or WSE2, which contains 2.6 trillion transistors. 
using an AI system that is a million times more powerful than any other computer system before it. This model has 850,000 cores, while the first generation model consisted of less than half of it. These cores are connected by 200 petabits per second connections. The fantastic thing about this model is that the data is fed to the cores using a 40 gigabyte on-chip memory with 20 petabytes per second. This single chip would be powerful enough to achieve human level performance in specific tasks. The result was a dramatic increase in WSE's power, allowing them to achieve unprecedented performance in speech recognition, object detection, and other tasks. Each core of the WSE is programmable and optimized for the tensor-based sparse linear algebra operations that supported AI to the edge of efficiency. The cores are fast and have high bandwidth, but unlike general purpose processors, they contain no components like cache. This architecture solves the scalability problem by keeping the cores small while providing the high bandwidth and parallelism of a general purpose processor. Cerebrus systems dramatically increase the number of parameters in an AI model, making the artificial intelligence and machine learning even more sophisticated. Cerebrus inventions, which will provide a hundred times increase in parameter capacity, may have the potential to transform the industry, said by Rick Stevens, Associate Director for the Argonne National Laboratory, in a statement. Further, he added that, for the first time, we will be able to explore brain-sized models opening up vast new avenues of research insight. The engineers behind the chip believe it can be used in giant data centers and help accelerate the progress of artificial intelligence in everything from self-driving cars to talking digital assistants like Amazon's Alexa or Siri. This chip was an inspiration for other companies too. Many companies are building new chips for AI, including traditional chip makers like Intel and Qualcomm with startups in the United States, Britain, and China. Cerebrus states that with having such a large single chip solution means that the barrier to be distributed training methods across 100 of AI chips is now so much further away that this excess complication to the network may not matter as much as before. The whole point of this is to improve the current AI systems that are trained on a single CPU and are trying to do the same thing over and over again, but with a much larger number of processors in the network. They believe this will not only improve performance, but also increase the complexity of the system. It is expected that the Cerebrus chip will evolve beyond human control and that it will become a self-contained device. The Cerebrus chip will learn how to predict human activity and behavior and will use this information to make better decisions regarding human interaction with the chip. The Cerebrus Weight streaming technology will allow the user to disaggregate computer parameter storage, meaning researchers can scale size and speed independently. The company said this would also remove latency and bandwidth issues that are associated with large clusters of small processors. Carl Freund, founder of the Principal Analyst and Cambrian AI, said, One of the largest clusters to solve AI programs is the complexity and time required to set up, configure, and then optimize them for a specific neural network. The execution the execution model is based on a handful of essential rules that allow to create of a cluster where the execution of a complex, high-frequency event can be run on a bunch of computers. The weight streaming execution model is so elegant in its simplicity, Cerebrus is moving all the complexity we have to face today around the building and efficiently using enormous clusters. Given the details and performance of the chip, it isn't easy to evaluate how impactful the wafer scale approach might become. So, this brings our video to an end. What do you guys think about Cerebrus chip? Do you believe that is the best AI chip ever? Will its competitors be able to compete with this chip? Do you think it will control humans in the future? Tell us in the comment section below. We always love to read your comments.